Welcome to the today's session, MMPM 005, Block 3, Unit 8. Today we have the topic, Managing People. So what we are going to cover today, Introduction, People, Challenges of Service Personnel, Internal Marketing, the Service Profit Chain, and the People Management in Service products. So people is the fifth P, what we are going to see in the marketing mix of services. So in case of marketing mix for the product, we have the four P's, product, price, place, promotion. And for the services, that is the extended three P's, that is people, physical evidence, uh, and the process. So before we go for the next P, that is people, let us know about the traditional marketing mix, why there is a reason for that to improve for you have gone for the modern marketing or modern services marketing you have gone through. The first reason was to services offered by the service company has to be changed in the more product like manner so that existing market tools can be applied. Second reason was the market practitioners in the service sector found reason that for that to improve to their needs. Third reason was since services are basically different in comparison to the physical products, the marketing models and concepts are therefore to be developed in the direction of the service sector. So here one common thing is it coming that in the case of product, there is no people involvement, simply the product being sold by the company through the retail outlets and directly it is coming to the customer. But here when you are going to get the service, that is always related to the client and who is going to get the service from the service provider. So service provider is the person who is providing the service. So depending on the mood of that particular person, the training of that particular person, the skill of that particular person, the entire service delivery process depends. So that's why people play a key role uh, in this particular services model. Now the extended P's developed by the Booms and Bittner in the 7P of the marketing mix, which four P's of marketing mix already developed by the Magrath. So here the 7P's relevance mostly we are going to find in the case of services that we are going to study in this particular cases. People constitute an important dimension in the management of services in their role, both performers and services and as a customer. So here, here two things are happening. We are not only considering that the person concerned who is providing the services at the same time also the person concerned who is getting this particular service. So we are considering both the service provider and also the client. And both of the persons can able to deliver the best services when both of them are going to cooperate to each other. Second part, people as performers of services are important because a customer sees companies through its employees. So it is not possible that every service organization, what kind of services are they providing? So this can be only seen through the person concerned or the employees, those who are directly interacting with the customers. And by this, the customer can able to evaluate or verify that which company is providing better services. It is the employee or it is the service provider who is giving the satisfactory result in the services to the customer, then we can say that this company is a good company. The employees represent the first line of contact with the customer. So we coordinated in service cases, frontline executives and the support services. So frontline executives, every banks we have seen the people, those who are directly interacting with the customers, we call them as a frontline executives. And the services process which is doing because entire process the frontline executives cannot keep so they require some support services from the back end. So the back end people are giving services because of that the front executives can able to deliver the services what required by the customer or the client. So for that reason that this is very important that employee has to give a better solution and that is the point of contact. We called it moment of truth because every person can able to understand the performance of the banks. He can able to understand the moment he will interact with the frontline executives. The firm most recognize that each employee is a salesman of the company service. Yes, that is more important that 
in the banks or in a hotel you may interact with too many people the point of contacts or moment of truths are many like uh, if you will go to a particular hotel you may find the manager is a point of contact the service person is a point of contact the receptionist is a point of contact the uh, room attendant is a point of contact the so every persons or employees which are working on the service organizations they are directly dealing with the customer which is not possible in the case of product so that's why in the service each and every point where the customer is contacting with the uh, employees of that organization he can able to understand it that the service performance is good or bad on the basis of that he will be satisfied or dissatisfied service personnel so the service provider persons who are trained enough who is going to give the services to the customer the behavior and attitude of the personnel providing the service is an important influence on the customer's overall perception so here you will find that the person although there are so many constraints with the employees like family background problems the other problems environmental problems job problems so all kind of problems might be there but still when they are going to interact with the customers their behavior must be good otherwise the reputation of the organization can be damaged if the employees are not dealing very well with the customers so that's why the overall perception of the customer is based on the employee to whom they are interacting or the sales person to whom they are interacting so service personnel due to technology and the availability of alternative methods of communication and information seeking including email chatbot so nowadays that is another way also we can able to know that if you are going to purchase any product through the e-commerce or we are purchasing any product through uh, that is a uh, uh, physical mode if you are purchasing any product and you want to and uh, get the service through the internet or online services we are going for so here it is more important the person concerned who is interacting with you if he is not dealing or not sending the message or that is not conducive to the customer or that is going against the customer's uh, will or uh, that is going against the uh, product performance so definitely customer will not happy and you know, and he will not give a good feedback to the company so the case of call center employees is to under under control because it provides a low contact system so call center are getting very limited time so they can spend so they are sometimes third party uh, call and call centers or sometimes companies direct call centers so when call center people are interacting they are uh, specific problems they are going to interact so the specific problem way we cannot uh, Uh, take a picture that the entire organization is not good because of that interaction of us not good so it is also a kind of things are there but still there are so many other dimensions are there by which you can appreciate the services provided by a particular company now service personnel improve the quality and performance of your service professional that, that is more important that if it is the organizations are providing frequent training and they are uh, performance is good their interaction is good their behavior is good so definitely people are going to appreciate like i can say that if you have been to a particular parlor and you are interacting with anybody of the parlor persons and they are not dealing very well so you might be unhappy or if you have been to a particular bank so your problem is not sorted out and you are very much facing problems because of the employees and lot of problems being faced so that particular case is your opinion about the bank will be very bad that they are not looking after the uh, complaints of the customer properly under this what the things are coming careful selection and training personnel so this is very important that when you are selecting any employees for your organization they must be very much trained and well behaved otherwise do not try to take because a single person can also damage a lot for a particular service organization laying down norms rules and procedures to ensure consistent behavior so this is more important that everybody in the organization most of the knowledge regarding the law and rules or norms of the company because they have to deal as per the norms of the company not like that they will say from their side or something or some commitment they will make it which is not possible from the company side this kind of thing should not be there otherwise it will create a very bad remark and customer may not also rely on that particular company 
ensuring consistent appearance so this is not only once you are going to do consistently the same kind of performance so people are going to be happy you know that how many times they will interact with the companies or the service people they will get the same result so they are will be completely happy that they are getting the good services from the company and that is consistent every time they get it reducing the importance of personal contact may introduce automation and computerization over possible so sometimes the product is so good so you do not require the services from the company or automation and computerization is there so automatically lot of problems can be solved and you can get this informations like let us say how to install a particular services a software or something like that so there is a automation so computerization is there you just go through and follow the rules then you can do that one and you can understand it you will be happy enough so it's not essential that the people will be involved there so automations can do the work of it people so now the customers so customers are important because they are the source of influence the other customers so we know it very well that previous uh, sessions we have completed that is word of mouth so a dissatisfied customer is always create lot many dissatisfied customer but a satisfied customer may or may not create a satisfied customer but that's why it is very much important for every service organization that do not create any um, bad customers that means the, the customer will be unhappy about the companies so try to make satisfied customers in the market if it is not possible do not try to make the dissatisfied customer in the case of doctors lawyers consultants one satisfied customer will lead to the chain reaction so that is we have seen also one doctor is quite famous that the patients are going to talk a lot about the doctors to the too many people lawyers also equally the same consultants also same if somebody got a student got a good job from a consultant so he is going to uh, inform in the public forum that uh, these consultants are providing a very nice job to them a marketing manager your first task should be to ensure complete satisfaction of the existing customers so this is more vital in the service organizations that how many customers have the direct or they are the existing customer of your organizations you have to put enough uh, effort for those people that they should not be dissatisfied they will be completely satisfied because these satisfied customers that will create a good reputations with the your organization so this will be a long term relationships by which your most of the services can be sold through the people those who have already purchased the or the customer those who have already purchased the services the prospective customer may feel attracted towards the organization like uh, this club school colleges that once the student will be happy and all they have gone and they have seen the uh, advantages in that particular kind of organizations or the automation in that particular organizations or the kind of dealing of that particular organization so that particular cases the customers or the students are will be more more happy and more happiness they what they are going to do they will create also more uh, customers for that particular kind of organization so this is very important to create a satisfied customer challenges of service personnel so service personnel that interact with the service customers have some of the most stressful jobs so this is very important that the persons those who are directly interacting with the customers because that the person concerned who is directly interacting with the customer so customer is always evaluating that the what kind of services is it giving or she is or he or she is also equally evaluating on the basis of competitor brands so that's why the this is a very stressful job for the employees or the service providers that how to deal with the customer and different kind of customers may come some of the customers may be adamant customers some of the customers may be Team, but dealing with it, you are in the service side end, so your behavior should be good to the customer. So customer may be different. Customer may also uh, do some uh, negativity, but uh, your your uh, kind of performance should be always positive or always uh, to give the benefit to the customer. Now boundary spanning roles. 
so service employees are known as the boundary spanners because they are actually in the boundary of that particular organization if they will not do very well the boundary will broken up so that's why they serve as the bridge between the organization's internal activities and its external customers so uh, all together they are going to be mixed together like i told already that in the banks you will find frontline executives and also you are going to find the back ends so if both of the them are not working in proper list then there is a delay in the customer services so the delay in the customer services is only because of that the back end services has not prepared as per the time frame so that's why most of the banks they are writing that uh, for which kind of financial service what is the time duration taken so that's why customer is also happy that they will get back this particular service within this the specific time period but mentioned there uh, in the book they play a vital role in comprehending sorting and evaluating data matter so most of the time you will find that uh, what to do first priority list and what to do second which is more time consuming which is less time consuming that must be sorted it out and that is must be informed to the customers uh, before they are going to interact because customers will say that uh, once you have declared the time frame or the durations it is quite easier for the service provider to explain otherwise the customer may argue that why not you have provided this particular information earlier now emotional labor emotional labor occurs when there is a mismatch between how a service employee feels internally and the emotions that management expects from the display part of the customer so the explanation may be not right <clears throat> or the training is not proper if that is the kind of condition will arise what will happen the employees got the different informations and actual the things which are happening in the organizations are different so that particular cases the uh, employees are in chaos they are unable to explain it properly to the customer they are unable to convey it but the companies are going to say that you just convey this one so conveying in the different ways or different mode uh, so it is creating a confusion among the customers that they are very much unhappy regarding that within this particular organization there is no mismatching about the different opinions like if you have been to a hospital then uh, for a particular kind of services the doctor is talking one thing then the other people are talking another thing so you will be completely unhappy to listen the same hospital having a different opinion regarding the same services so that is creating a problem and where hostess for example can experience emotional labor while giving smiles maintaining eye contact demonstrating genuine interest so this is the very often you will find your uh, flight is delayed you do not know what is the cause of that one and your management is saying that you just talk with the pe people that very shortly our flight will take off so Uh, by this process, the time is going on. So after some time, they are going to lose their face value. Now the role conflict. The role conflict cases we are going to find that service employees usually need to manage numerous tasks. So they have to do actually several tasks. So what are the different tasks? By this particular process, the conflict will arise. What is the conflict will arise? person and role conflicts so if you are sending the person to the different role in the services this is very often also sometimes happening that initial days when the people are going to join in the banks and they are doing the different activities like the cash delivery activities or they are in teller activities or they are in uh, mutual fund activities or they are in bond activities so some activities in the financial things they are going to do where the he has or she has a limited knowledge so there is a conflict will arise on that organizational conflict and clients conflict also there that when you are dealing with the clients and the inter client conflict is client to client you are going to find that is the problem is there so we are going more detail regarding to discuss this one so first is the person and role conflict service employees may have conflicts between their personalities and self perception and beliefs and the demands of their jobs so what is it going to happen that what way people are going to take you are not over spoken you are not a uh, uh, person to speak very well that the task being assigned to you will be and uh, you must be a talkative one you are in the marketing line so that will create a problem and somebody is uh, very well in technical aspects but uh, being given the marketing or hr like uh, the 
works on there. So that is creating the role conflict. Organization client, I told, an employee may encounter conflict when the conflicting expectations are placed on them by the organization and the clients respectively. So uh, different situations, different kind of things being given to you, then you will be in trouble. Like uh, uh, earlier, what the consents being given, as for that, you have dealt with your clients, but now the changes being happened and uh, how you are going to deal like that. So this is very often happening with the services like uh, telecom services that the schemes are different, but time to time also the schemes are changing. So customers are unhappy to know that these schemes were working 15 days before now this scheme is not working. So it is quite difficult, difficult part for the uh, retailers to sell the SIM or sell the data models when they are completely confused about what to say to the customer because the time to time the service program is changing by the companies. Customers, however, prefer to be left alone to make their own decisions. So that's why with the too many confusions, sometimes customers are not taking the decision instantly from that particular point, returning back and doing that one, and after that also taking the decisions. Inter-client conflict employees frequently find it difficult or impossible to satisfy the complete range of wants of the goods of the heterogeneous clients. So we cannot say all kind of empty organizations in the market, they cannot able to say that all the services required by the customers can be fulfilled by the uh, employees. So that's why what it is going to happen. So some part may not be going to happen. Like uh, you can't say that all services provided by one company different differs from another company. So what one company is providing another company that may not be there. Like we can say like uh, uh, the transfer of data, if you are going to talk regarding the Bluetooth, so Bluetooth cases, somebody is going to say 4.1 to 5.1 like that. So the speed of that one is different. Then you are going to say charging system uh, is different if you are going to find. So that way the differences you are going to find. Internal marketing, so done by the employer should apply market research, market segment and traditional marketing activities like advertising in order to attract employees and working. So uh, how the organization is trying to keep the more qualitative employees in their organizations by uh, doing the different kind of research work to find it out who are the technically sound or the experienced people to be taken. Which kind of people you want to take? So for that you have to do the market segmentations to see that what kind of employees you require, whether there should be uh, computer uh, that means more IT savvy, or more management related, more technical related like that. So you are going to make the segmentation. And traditional marketing activities. Some of the cases also you require traditional marketing activities like the advertisement in posters, advertisement in TV, advertisement in the roadsides or pamphlets like that. Internal marketing also, Grand Rose suggested that the internal marketing should be broader than the traditional marketing. So uh, when you are going to think about the true broadness uh, about that one, so not only you are doing internal marketing for your employees, but also if the satisfied employees also create more number of customers. So that is the way you have to think. According to him, the internal marketing concept states that the internal market of employees is best motivated for the service mindedness, so customer oriented performance. So more is the satisfied customer, more is the intellectual uh, uh, that is uh, employees, it is quite easy for the employees to convince the customer, so the customer will be more loyal to the companies. The starting managing people point in the internal marketing is the people's employees are the first internal marketer for the organization. So, uh, to give a better solution, give a better pay package and going through a good uh, opportunities for the promotions, all these kind of things you will attract the good employees from the market and a good employees can able to uh, give a better solutions for the customers and customer will be more satisfied if they are interacting with the employees of high standard. Strategic and tactical objectives of internal marketing. So here, Grant Ross qualified that the basic objectives of internal marketing is developed, motivated by customer conscious employees. So customer conscious employees are who? That those who are dealing very cautiously with the customers because they know it, what is the customer value. Losing one customer in service organization is a big issue and this can create also a lot of 
dissatisfaction in the market so that's why it is very much important the employees should be very much cautious about the customer those who are directly getting the service from the company Parsuraman and Berry, they have the books in uh, services marketing, were suggested that the service company can only be as good as at its people. So you can say that a, a service organization is the best service organization when your people can able to deal uh, very well or something uniqueness uh, to the customers than other competitors brand, competing brands. A service is a performance, and it is usually difficult to separate the performance from the people. So. Uh, when it is performance related so automatically the uh, qualitative employees or the person concerned who is delivering the services if his performance is good automatically that is the performance will be better and if their performance is not good uh, because of they do not have the qualities they have not trained properly so that particular cases you are getting a inferior services and customer will be also on our if the people do not meet customers' expectations, then neither does the service. So here you will find that always you need to understand what is the expectations of the customer. So service must be customized. We cannot say there is a service will be standardized or uh, one company, whatever the things they are going to prepare. Customer has to uh, be loyal to the services or customer lenient to the services. No, it's not possible. Customer will be always right in their act or their activities. So it is the service organizations, those who are going to convince or make the services as per the required by the customers, that is customized services. So by this, you can able to see the performance of the services can be enhanced. Now, strategic and tactical objectives of the internal marketing. So it will start with the overall objective is to develop motivated and customer conscious personnel. So this is more important that what the employees you are recruiting for your organization, they must be motivated properly with the organization. They are very happy within the organization and that they can translate to the customers by interacting with that one. So they are very much customer conscious. Now strategic level objective to create an internal environment that supports customer consciousness and sales mindedness among the person through the support team like management methods, personal policy, planning and control procedures, like uh, your management method means your types of practices, what you are going to do, personal policy, what is your policies in your organizations, and planning and control procedures, so how are you going to do that? This is strategic level you are going to do, in the top level management they have to do like that. Then mediocre level of management or middle level of management, that is tactical level objectives, to sell services, supporting services, campaigns, marketing efforts, how to do that one. So the personnel are the first market of the service company. So the employees of the organizations, they are the first market. They have to be trained, they have to be uh, encouraged properly, they have to be motivated very well to deal with the customers. The employees must understand why they are expected to perform in a certain manner or in a certain situation. So this is very important that always the situations will not be same or always situations must not be conducive. So in different situations, the same level of performance must be provided by the company executives. Otherwise, the company may lose its services or customer can identify the service standard is very poor. The employees must accept the service and other activities of the company in order to support the service in their contact with the customers. So it is very important that uh, when the employees are giving their activities, the support services must be act so that whatever the requirement they have that must be supplied through the customer support. Company support system is there. The internal information channels must work. Personal selling is needed internally. So this is very important also. A personal selling cases, people are directly interacting with the customers and they can go to educate the customers related to what they require and as for their requirement, they are going to design their services or customize their services. Now the elements of internal marketing, complete aggressively for talent market share. So here, uh, you will find the potential in services marketing, a farm must realize its potential in internal marketing and the attraction, 
development motivation and retention of the qualified employees so always it is essential that if your employees are highly qualified your payment structure must be very high the promotion structure also very nice and your employees should not leave the organization so they must be brand loyal the loyal loyalty will be mostly there so that they will be always with the organizers to provide the best services to the customer so the complete aggressively for the talent market share we will find that here talent the proportionate of the talent people available in your organization is the most important thing so here offer the vision that brings purpose and meaning to the workplace so what is your vision of the organizations what way you want to deliver your services to the customer next is equip people with the skills and knowledge to perform their service and role excellently so sometimes the people require technology it or they require also technology they may require also some uh, items materials to demonstrate the services very well to the customers so that must be provided by the company at the same time their skill must be skill set must be developed properly by guiding them or uh, giving training to those people they must have the knowledge sufficient knowledge to educate the customers or to deal the customers very well <coughs> bring people together to benefit from the fruits of the team play so you try to make uh, the standardized services so that people will come more number of people will come to get the services from you and lever is the freedom factor so what the number of people are coming so you try to make the conversion ratio should be very high that you can able to convert them more conversion ratio means more number of customers those who are coming you can make the customer as your your customer nurture achievement through the measurement and rewards so uh, continuous reward system must be there on the basis of the performance of the employees so that is very much important based job product design research decisions on research so what the products and services are you going to give so you have to conduct the research work on that one that it's for the product or services you are providing how what extent the customers are satisfied or clients are satisfied or how many days they will be satisfied or how many years they will be satisfied is there any changes required for your product or services so all these things must be uh, taken the research work to do the work very well now importance of internal marketing organization success or failure whether you will get the success or the failure that can be known through the two diagrams we are going to discuss this particular two diagrams the employees of a service firm have to share the same concern as the conceptualizer of the service the service has to be marketed first to the intermediate customers who are the employees of the firm and more specifically the frontline employers of the 100% so this is very often happening i told from the beginning instead of doing the marketing from the beginning to the customer it's better to first market to your employees your employees are quite satisfied customer for your product then they will sell the product very well or the service is very well so that's why your first customer should be the employees so if they are satisfied with the services what provided by the company or the product provided by the company 100% sure the employees can able to translate the same thing to the customers and customer will be happy enough to purchase this kind of product from the companies the service has to be marketed first to the intermediate customers who are the employees of the firm more specifically and the frontline employers i told that contact person to your community now the cycle of failure so how failure takes place that it starts with the customer cycle so customer cycle is that customer dissatisfaction will come so first is the customer dissatisfaction is there so why customer dissatisfaction no continuity in the relationship with the customer so when you do not have any continuity in the relationship with the customer so there will be a customer dissatisfaction failure to develop customer loyalty so there will not be any customer loyalty because as long as the customers are going to get the services as per their 
requirement so that is the day they will be loyal the day they will find the services is not as per their requirement so they will switch over to the another brand customer turnover so how many people will remain with you and how many people are discontinuing with your services of the organization repeat emphasis on the attracting new customers so when your present customers are not with you very few are with you this is very important that you have to to spend time with the new customers to create a new customer base so here within that particular bracket we are going to find that the narrow design of the jobs to accommodate low skills levels so uh, if you have not designed your skill set for the job is very poor then you may not get a good employees for your organization emphasis on rules rather than services so a lot of rules you are going to make in the companies so that people are going to follow the rules payment of low wages so payment of low wages is also giving a very bad remark that customer the employees are unhappy that they are getting very low salaries and by this process they are unable to do it very well or able to provide the services with a good great standard minimization of training so if you are reducing the number of training so it is very difficult to cope up with the environment because we know it very well in the market every time the scenario is changing people are changing the it sector is coming day by day there is a advancement in the technology so for to give the right kind of education this is highly essential for every organization to go a continuous training program by which not only you educate the customers uh, your employees uh, regarding the new product or the services but also you educate the manner or the way they have to deal with the customers so all these things next is employees cannot respond to customer problems so if the employees are not responding then there is a problem huge problem that means customers will always think that the employee is the right person who can answer this particular kind of problem and if you are going to avoid that means some problem is occurring with your organization that's why you are avoiding one two to three persons in the market they are talking about that one so that's why it is very much important that the employees should talk with the customer problems and if it is possible also organization should look up to to see that so next is the no continuity in the relationship of the customer so that is employee dissatisfaction poor service attitude so if the employee is dissatisfied within the organization because of too many causes are there so poor services will come so because they are dissatisfied they do not want to do the same work satisfied work with the customer so they will always expect that why should i do so high employee turnover poor service quality so high employee turnover means that employees will not remain in the organization so they will leave the organization so that particular case is the reliability will be less so nobody is going to rely on this person and the customer turnover case is low profit margin so uh, if you are going to give the low profit margin then you are going to find that is the problems it will occur Uh, to the customers, if you are going to find a narrow design of the jobs accommodated to the low skill sets, because if you are not going to pay your good uh, remuneration to your employees, so narrow design of the jobs can be possible. So these are the first thing is that the cycle of failure. If this kind of situation will occur in your organizations, then the chances is very high that the service failure will occur. Now, how to get the success for success? high customer satisfaction how it can be the high customer satisfaction if your employees are paid well they are highly educated they are directly interacting with the customers they are take, giving time to the customers to discuss about certain problems so that particular cases you can able to create high customer satisfaction or you are asking for few questions if you have any queries you may ask through this particular websites like that so this is high customer satisfaction is it second cases is that the continuity in the relationship with the customers so this is very often it is important for everybody that relationship you have to maintain that just like your crm the banks nowadays putting lot of efforts for the crm 
that is with the priority customers the priority customers are those who are always keeping a huge amount of money in the banks or they are investing uh, on the shares like that so banks identify the people those who are higher spending pattern or highest spend they are trying to do they are always trying to maintain the relationship with those kind of customers because they are giving the advantages to these banks so employee satisfaction positive service attitude can be created now it is the lower turnover higher service quality so when the customer relationship is good so automatically you will find lower to turnover so turnover will be less that means your employees are not going to leave your organizations because they are getting a good uh, services from the company good remuneration good facilities so why should they leave the organizations to join another organization where he or she may not find suitable to get this kind of services next is the customer loyalty so customer loyalty will go up because that when you are purchasing the domestic one and that particular cases mostly you will find that customer loyalty will be very high and low cost turnover so uh, employees will not leave the organizations because that they are getting all kind of benefits and higher profit margins also they are going to get means their salaries they are getting good service on that one then the uh, repeat emphasis on the customer loyalty and retention this is more important when the customer turnover was very high so that particular time you have changed and you have done some kind of things by which customers are not going to uh, change the service actions that is uh, so here the uh, repeat emphasis on the customer loyalty and retention that is more important they have to do that uh, if you are not doing that customer loyalty you are going to lose the customer loyalty on that one. then broadened uh, job design so uh, not only you focus on the only few area you try to broad it up so that your interactions with on the maximum uh, situations and maximum dimensions you can interact with the customers train empower frontline personnel to control quality i discussed this one in the banking service cases the frontline executives must be uh, very talkative they can able to interact with the customers well manner and uh, 50% of the problem problem can be solved if the employees can talk very well very nicely with the customers so that is more important but extend the front line executives can able to understand the problems of the customer and what extent they can able to deliver or give the solutions by which they can able to create a good satisfied customer above average wages so that means the wages what they are giving to the laborers must be more just not like the government prescribed uh, the average wages so if i will to so it must be above average wages means not the minimum wages it is above average wages so the customer will be mostly happy or we can say custom sorry the em employees are more happy and employees we can say that they are delighted that means uh, they are very much happy about that one so when they are very much happy they can able to deliver a better services to the customer intensified selection effort so uh, when you are more satisfied than in during the selection of the candidates so you are giving more uh, time to that particular kind of things and we said that also you will stay more time here to take the so that is what intensified selection process so uh, here the selection process is intensified by which we are going to the organization is going to get some good employees uh, from there uh, by this process now the service profit chain so how it operates so first is internal service quality so what kind of service quality are you maintaining within the organizations so service quality is good means the moment the employees are going to join in your organizations initial days they may feel also the quality is very high so whether they can able to achieve that or not but later on what it will happen that the employee satisfaction will be there so employee will be more satisfied with the quality work and from there employee retention and employee productivity so employee retention will be more when the employees are more satisfied and employee productivity with the satisfaction their productivity will go up now it is coming to the external service values so here you are going to find what service value being given by this particular company so you need to mention that one that what kind of extra services we can you can give 
then immediately after that one is the customer satisfaction so customer is satisfied with the external service value what the value is being provided by the company and that will create the customer loyalty so once you are satisfied with that particular kind of flowers and other things so automatically the customer loyalty will remain they are more brand loyal if they are satisfied they will be continuously a brand loyal for two many years so from customer loyalty two things are coming one is the revenue growth second is the profitability so more is the customer loyalty they will not remain uh, they are not going to leave the present organization so that's why what will happen the revenue growth will be there more revenue can be generated at the same time also profitability the profitability of the company is also going up so people are going to get the more on that now people management in the service firm so how people management you are going to do this circle is going to explain regarding how to uh, give the different type of facilities and other things so that um, they are uh, you know, motivations will be more like hire for service competencies and service inclinations so here you are going to find that service competencies must be better uh, it will be there so that people are going to compete with each other and there is a uh, enhancement of your service performance be the preferred employer so always be the preferred employers means uh, always the employer will be liking you because of your uh, good works in the market or interacting very well with the customers like that train for technical and interactive skills this is a continuous process in every organization every organization has to see this one very well that whether the training and development programs are continuously happening or not empower employees so try to give more power to your employees beyond their own capacity can also take the decisions that will create a, or that will give the advantages to you so that is employer employees relationship your next is promote teamwork so the when there is a teamwork that will promote this particular organization rather than the individual work they have to focus more on the teamwork and teamwork will be always you will find the result will be best next is the major internal service quality this is also very important the each level the service quality will be better otherwise altogether we are not going to deliver a good quality services because there are so many components by which the service quality can be delivered to the customers provide supportive technology and equipment so we discussed it related to this one i told in case of banks if the only frontline executives are dealing with the customer and there is no supportive hands so the frontline executives are unable to deliver the service required by the customer so that's why it is very much essential that the supportive technology must be equipped and must be connected with the primary executives develop service oriented internal process so uh, your organization must be service oriented that means they have to give the courtesy they have to invite the service people they have to give the advantages to those people like that include employees in the company's vision so compliant visions are going to be changed so include employees in the company's vision why it is so because that what the company's vision is there so employees must be understand what is the vision and it's for that he has to prepare himself so that all together a unitary system will occur and where every person can able to deliver their best to uh, get back the customers treat employees as customers so uh, your employees although they are within your organizations but it is the first uh, marketer or the first customer of your organization so try to treat them very well so that they are very much happy to deliver the same message to their customer measurement and reward strong service performance so it is very much important that continuous measurement is required that whether you are providing the right kind of services or not or the actual deterioration of the services so we are in one end where we are providing the services that the customer is in another end where they are thinking that when they are going to get the particular this particular slide like that complete compete for the best people so best people you try to find it out which are in the market so try to keep those people so that the service standard will be better hire the right people so it's for the requirement of the services or any organizations you try to keep that one do not 
give some odd people those do not uh, satisfy the qualities or the satisfy the educational qualifications for that or training for that develop people to deliver service quality so your people must be satisfied your people must be skilled enough to deliver the services with the quality provide needed support system so anywhere is it required support system so support system must be there must be available from the government side like you know it very well during the covid 19 that government is supporting all kind of medical facilities services this vaccinations and everything retain the best people and it is highly important that for your organizations you try to retain all the good people in the market or you keep those people already in your company now hire the right people so here hiring the right people includes uh, the competing best people hiring for the service competence uh, service competencies and service inclinations are uh, two complementing skills that required so uh, competencies cases that uh, your level of knowledge uh, or your experience or your abilities to do the work these are mostly coming under your service competencies then service inclination it is desired to work in service related jobs so which is demonstrated by the attitude towards the service and uh, orientation towards serving customers and workers means your employees uh, your uh, uh, people must be service inclinations and they can able to demonstrate they must have the good attitude to do the work very well now develop the people to deliver service quality so it is highly essential what i told from the beginning that uh, educate them uh, give them proper training and uh, always treat employees as your first customer so that all kind of satisfaction if the satisfied employees will be there so definitely they will contribute a lot to the organizations so they can able to deliver or market their product and services developing people to deliver service quality comprises technical interactive skills training employee empowerment and teamwork first ones so technical aspects you are going to deliver to then interactive skills also training you want to give how to empower the employees you have to educate them regarding that and teamwork promotion so try to work in a team so that is also important they have to be now provided the provide the needed support system so service personnel need internal support mechanisms that are in line with their equipments to the customer focused in order to be efficient and effective in their job performance so this is more important that uh, uh, needed support what the support uh, you require if it is a technical support like uh, if a service person is dealing with the customers and there is a some type of technical complexity so you must have also the department those who are going to deal that one i like uh, you will talk that is purchase related issues or product related issues or the product fail cases that particular cases you will find that in both the cases amazon and flipkart they are uh, normal executives are dealing but when it is related to technicality of the product or services then they are not directly interacting they are going to say that sir we are inviting to our platform to the technical person who can able to understand what is your questions about that and they can able to deliver very well so that you will be a satisfied customer so this is what supportive technology and equipment must be there and developing service oriented internal process so that is your going to do so retain the best people so try to keep the best people in Uh, your organizations so after uh, recruiting and professionally developing the service personnel to deliver decent quality services so it is highly essential that if you are very much interested for the qualitative employees so your cut off point marks will be very high or you require some uh, big uh, uh, schools or uh, students part from the big schools and uh, you are trying to select out of that one. and service organizations can also develop the motivation plan and also develop the uh, training program so that better training can be given on uh, given to the people so that they will develop to keep employees motivated to work for the organizations and support its whole employees so 
uh, you try to motivate your employees to always provide best services to the customer employee retention rate will like to better so it is also highly essential that if the employees will be dissatisfied they may not retain in the organization they may leave so that's why it is highly important that you try to create more satisfied employees within the organization because satisfied employees can create also they will reduce the retention rate and uh, they will reduce the uh, increase the retention rate and reduce the people those who are going to leave the organizations the best service performance must be rewarded like uh, uh, every organization will find that the sales people uh, annual sales performance being seen that the people those who are so service cases also equally those who are performing very well those who have uh, highest number of satisfied clients or the dealers and distributors are very much happy about the sales officers because of the dealing and doing the works at the right time so that must be rewarded with uh, certain things from the company now use automation to reduce the dependency on the people so uh, when we are going to talk regarding the people we are ending with the uh, not the people but the machine so direct marketing cases this is possible that uh, people are directly interacting with the machines like if it is a atm counters vending machines so anywhere where is the automatic car was also you are going to find then cold drinks also you may find by putting the certain coins the machine is going to provide so all those cases you will find automations is there day by day also you will find more is the automated uh, customers will be happy more happy because the standardization of the services will be there and there will not be any kind of biasness so customers will get the services or all the times the services will be the standard services and error will be less because of the automations uh, because this is the error ma mostly rectifies and informations all the informations what the put by the companies that is the informations you are going to find uh, that will be available there and that will not be different from that one so how the customers and the sales persons are uh, interacting so that the cases the uh, possibilities that agitation can be possible or a uh, mismatching the opinion can be possible which is not possible in the case of automations that automations whatever you have created uh, with the computers and other things that is the instructions will go to the customers and the instructions will be very clear and that is properly they can able to know and this is the advantages they are going to get through the automated and which is not possible in this particular case is a person and the people when they are going to interact but customization can be possible which is not possible in the case of automation so today i think that the people we can able to discuss that how people are going to help whether he is a customer or whether he is an employee both the cases interaction is more important in the service marketing so people play a vital role and the image of the company or the service organization can be known through the uh, people those who are directly dealing with the customers whether they may be the frontline executives or they may be the service people those who are interacting with the customer so thank you